Our next recipe is going to be a fabulous beef stew that I'm going to make in our Futuro six quart pressure cooker. If you notice, we have two short handles, great for compact kitchens or if you have a cooktop that has lots of pots on it. We also have a new design, this beautiful European belly shape. Another fabulous feature of this pressure cooker is that we have an automatic locking mechanism. Close your unit as usual, lining up your mark on your lid with the mark on your handle, and then slide the lid close. As you slide the lid, you will hear it lock. No more guessing whether your pressure cooker is locked or not. You also notice that our pressure valve in this unit is gray and not black. Steam is released upwards through the valve. This helps prevent food particles from clogging the valve. We still have our two pressure levels. Two, which is high pressure. One, which is medium pressure. And we also have our quick release valve and our setting for removing our valve to clean it. So now that you know something about this model, let's get cooking. We're going to start our stew by adding two tablespoons of olive oil. And we need to brown our meat. We're going to have to do this in batches because we're using about two pounds of beef. As our cubes brown, I'm going to remove them to my plate. Ready for our next batch. You don't want to put your beef cubes too close together because you want nice caramelization on your meat and it's going to add a lot of flavor to your recipe. This recipe is only going to cook 18 minutes. Traditional beef stews cook up to two and a half to three hours and this will taste as though you've been simmering it on the stove all day. Because we cook in an airtight environment, all of our foods retain their natural vitamins and minerals. One of the healthiest ways to cook is with a pressure cooker. These cubes are browning very nicely. And that aluminum encapsulated base gives us a nice even heating, so all of our cubes are browning at the same time. One of the things I love about Fager's pressure cookers is that things that generally take hours can be cooked in minutes. Now that the last batch of our beef cubes are almost done, we're ready to add our other ingredients. With Fager pressure cookers, you can brown your meat and then cook the rest of your recipe right in the same pot. So I have my carrots and my onions. There are my tomatoes. I'm going to add my herbs, mushrooms, and olives. A little twist on the recipe, putting olives in your beef stew, but I happen to really like it. And then that all-important liquid. Remember, you always have to add at least a half cup of liquid to any recipe you use. Fagor will always tell you the amount of liquids you need to use in their recipes. Okay, we're gonna give this a stir. And then, I'm ready to lock the lid on our unit. Again, as with all of our models, we're going to line up the mark on the lid with the mark on our handle. Okay. We're going to turn the lid and watch. Now we have our automatic locking mechanism. Just like that, our unit is locked, foolproof. You don't have to worry about it. Next, we need to set our pressure. We have our high pressure, which is two, and cooks the fastest. Our medium pressure, which is one, which is again good for delicate items like fish and vegetables. Our quick release valve, and our setting for removing our valve to clean it. We're gonna make this beef stew in 18 minutes on high pressure. So I'm going to put the heat on my induction burner up to high, 
and we're going to wait until we come to pressure. Our pressure indicator here is recessed in our handle, and when the unit has pressure in it, the valve will pop up. However, we won't have reached full pressure until we see steam coming out of the top of our lid. At that point, we set our timer for our 18 minutes. Okay, our pressure indicator has come to the top of our handle, and now we're just waiting for some steam to escape, and then we can set our recipe for 18 minutes. Okay, here we go. Our steam is now coming out of the top of our lid, so it's time for us to turn down the temperature on our cooktop and set our timer for 18 minutes. Bagors for churro pressure cookers come with two great accessories. First, we have a steamer grater. So not only can you steam your vegetables, but you can use it to grate things such as carrots, other vegetables, and cheeses. And you get all different shapes. In addition to grating, this accessory is your convenient steamer basket that you can place on your trivet in your cooker and use to steam all sorts of vegetables. One other accessory is this beautiful cookbook, Tastefully Under Pressure, that includes over 90 fabulous recipes for you to use in your pressure cooker. As you can hear, our timer for our beef stew has gone off, so let's turn it off and quick release the pressure. What we're going to do now is turn our operating valve to the quick release position. Now that our pressure has been released, we can unlock our pressure cooker. Pull back the lock, rotate, and always remember to tilt the lid away from you. Oh, that smells wonderful and looks absolutely delicious. Now that we've taken off our pressure cooker lid, I just want to thicken our stew. What I'm going to do is just add a little bit of the cooking liquid to some flour, mix it up, and then we're slowly going to add that to our stew. It'll take one or two minutes just to thicken this up. And last but not least, we're going to add some freshly grated orange zest, some fresh garlic, and some fresh parsley. This smells fantastic. Mm -hmm.